Hey, welcome. My name is Jose Ramos. I am the founder of Impulse Group, and I'm here today to talk about COVID and HIV medication and also the vaccine. Uh, I have a guest today from ACE Healthcare Foundation, uh, one of our amazing doctors. Welcome, Dr. Herman. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having me. So my name is Matthew Herman. I'm an infectious disease specialist and a primary care physician, and I'm American board certified in infectious diseases and internal medicine. So question to you, um, when it comes to COVID and HIV uh, infection, is there any data or any concerns about being HIV positive and being more prone to become COVID infected? Um, so according to the CDC and the International AIDS Society, um, there's no increased risk of getting COVID-19 in people living with HIV. However, with that said, um, if someone with HIV does get COVID-19, there might be an increased risk of severe COVID infection. However, the data is unclear now and there's still a lot to be learned. And when you say severe COVID infection, uh, what does that look like? What is severe? Sure, severe COVID infection um, would mean someone who requires oxygen um, when they have COVID-19 or you know, more serious required oxygen needing to go to the intensive care unit um, or need to be intubated. Okay. And we're seeing a lot of that in LA County, correct? Yeah, you know, it's, it's really unfortunate. A lot of the hospitals in LA County and around the country are at capacity or actually over capacity. Wow. Uh, the vaccine, so it, it's been uh, out for a couple months. Um, there's also been concerns in, you know, around the LGBTQ community that if you take the vaccine, that you're more, more likely to potentially become HIV positive. Is that a thing or is that a myth? Yeah, you know, that's a, that's a really good concern. Um, to answer your question, in the United States, there is not an increased risk of HIV when getting the COVID-19 vaccine. With that said, the, the answer to your question is there is a potential concern possibly in other parts of the world. So, you know, what this stems from, I think it is really important to differentiate here. Um, in the United States, we have the Moderna and BioNTech vaccines. These are mRNA vaccines. It's a certain type of technology used to make the vaccines. In other parts of the world, for example, in China and Russia, um, the top technology used to make the vaccines is with a vector called the adenovirus type 5 or 85 vector. So where this concern comes from is about 10 years ago, when there were trials underway to make an HIV vaccine, it used this adenovirus or 85 vector technology. And unfortunately it was shown um, there was an increased risk in men um, of getting HIV if they had been exposed to this adenovirus in the past. In the United States, what we learned from this, there is, there's been extra safety precautions now in development of the COVID-19 vaccines from what we learned. So again, our technology, the Moderna and BioNTech vaccines use an mRNA technology, whereas some of these other vaccines around the world, for example, in China and Russia, they use that 85 technology. So this is a potential concern in those parts of the world. That's good to know. As, as a doctor and for your patients, is the vaccine something that you're recommending or is it depends on individuals? You know, the short of the long is I recommend it for all of my patients, okay? Um, there are some indications where I wouldn't recommend it at this moment, depending on if they've recently had COVID or not. Right. But given the impact um, this virus has had on our, our, our personal lives, um, our family, our friends, emotionally, financially, right. and on a society, you know, I think the vaccine is our best chance um, as a community and a society to move forward. I, I actually took it a couple of days ago. Um, and you know, and there's so much communication out there that I think there's too much sometimes where you start overthinking. Um, I did it, it was easy. It didn't really hurt, I'm a little sore, um, but I didn't get any major side effects. Have you heard about major side effects of taking the vaccine? You know, I got my first dose as well. Um, and you know, I just had a little soreness on my arm. Um, in regards to hearing about side effects, so the most common side effects that happen the day of the vaccination, the day following, and one day after that, and okay. include pain at the vaccination site, um, and it can include fever, headache. You know, what we do need to be concerned about is a severe allergic reaction caused, called anaphylaxis. Um, we have seen this, it is extremely uncommon. Um, uh, in the, essentially in the first six million dose of the COVID vaccine that were given, it's been reported that there's been 29 cases worldwide 
of anaphylaxis. Um, and we've really seen this in people who have had this severe allergic reaction in the past. Um, so generally, the, uh, the vaccine is very, very safe. Right. It's very effective. Um, and the chance of having a severe reaction is very rare.